This study looking at risk of rheumatoid arthritis in women was an observational study, which meant that they looked at records in the past to see if there was an association, can never prove a cause and effect. The types of HRT that women were taking were likely to be the older types of synthetic hormones, which we know have some risks, unlike the natural body identical hormones we prescribe now. We didn't know from the study how long these women took HRT for. The absolute risk that they quoted in the study was only 2%. Relative risk is different to absolute risk. The absolute number is what we want, and it was only 2%. Now the risk of, 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 of rheumatoid arthritis with women who had uh, oophorectomy, their ovaries removed at an earlier age, meaning that they became menopausal, was much greater. This risk was 20 to 40 percent. We know that our hormones are anti-inflammatory in our bodies and that's why in the menopause without our hormones we have an increased risk of conditions that are inflammatory like heart disease, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis as well. What this does highlight, of course, is that we need to do more research in this area. We need to look at the safety of our natural hormones, which are, we know, have more benefits than risks and are very safe for the majority of women. So I hope that's been helpful.